What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this Fargo. And I didn't think I'd see you so soon, but then Netmarble decided to release a little something, something right after I made that last video. And that is this right here, which is pretty spectacular. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off this sound here. There we go. And let's watch this. Kula. Oh my lord. Okay. And look at this, look at this. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Let's go through this a little bit. So first of all, Kula and Kay look freaking amazing. They look awesome. Look at Kula. Look at her detail in her face, man. She looks lovely as hell, right? Cute as a button. Oh, got that silky hair going on. She looks amazing. Wow. And then you see this skill that's pretty much like her second skill that's already in the game. And it looks, I mean, let me, let me, let me back this up a little bit. Let me kind of go forward. And then, yeah, she's hitting them. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Poor Angel getting her butt woke right there. Throws her up in the air. Wow. Very, very cool. And then you see this slide motion here, which we saw in the last video when we was taking a look at that artwork that they did. Let me back that up a little bit again. Let's take this out. Frame by frame, my friends. Let's watch that again. Slide right in, and then it has a knockdown. If you notice that uh, Angel there was actually face planted on the ground. Kind of sucks to go frame by frame. But you can see she's face planted on the ground right there. Very nice. I like that, you know, blowing out the snow there. Now that is wild. Now check that out. Check that out. So she has like an ice coffin, right? Currently in the game, she does what's called an ice coffin. And she puts up like this little ice shield in front of her. And now she's got like a freaking ice wall. Look at that damn thing. And you see Angel just frozen inside of that thing. That is sick. That's pretty damn sick. I gotta say, man, I'm loving that skill. Wow. Then it blows up. And then we got K. And K looks... He looks mean, man. Look at the look that he's giving us with those eyes. Wow. Okay, okay, I want to back that up a little bit and check out what he's doing here. So obviously he's going to have burn damage, pretty much like Kula's going to have freeze. And he shoots out a little wave of flame there, right? Then he backs away. He's going to do a driving forward punch, and he's going to go straight through them, knock them up in the air, which signifies maybe some good combo. And then you see a nice little shadow of him. Pretty wild. I like, I like how, like, at the end of that skill, he's in a shadow form. Like, check that out. Check that out. Look at that. That's sick. That is pretty damn cool. Now, this is the part that really, I think, may surprise a lot of people yours truly included, they have a team up 3PG. Look at this. They are working together in their 3PG. That is freaking cool. So, you know, Kula puts up all this ice, right, surrounding the target. And then K puts his fist to the ground the flame blows up the ice right pretty much well it doesn't exactly evaporate but it pretty much blows it up that is crazy and then you see the artwork here you got the three pgs going on right here and you know from the way it looks 
it looks like it's going to be just like what they did with Kyo and Iori. Wow. So like right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off real quick here. We'll turn our sound back on. I'm going to have a little sound. So like right now in the game, you know, what they did with Kyo and Iori is they actually, you know, did a 3PG where both of these guys, you know, they had the same 3PG. But they work together, right? Now, this is reminiscent of the old KOF games, right? They work together to defeat Orochi, and that's where this actually comes from. And it's pretty sick, because both of them are super long animations. And when you watch that animation with K and Kula, that looks like a pretty damn long animation that we saw. So, what that means is that this version... Oh, crap, it means click on her. That, that means this version of Kula, her stocks are going to skyrocket, right? She's going to be way better because of that 3PG, not to mention the new SS version is going to, you know, probably pretty much destroy her. And K here, like both of these characters are actually really good. And K is actually amazing. And this guy has an amazing leadership for Red Fighters. And, you know, for all of you that are new to this game, the Red Team is actually very strong against multiple dungeons. And the fact that this new 3PG is going to be much longer, you only have to get 3PG before you actually have to use it, it's just going to make his survivability, and really the same for Kula, it's just going to make their survivability better, it's going to allow them to install the timers better, I mean, it's going to make both of these characters so much better, right? Because we know that the new 3PGs are more than likely, I can't guarantee this, but if history repeats itself, more than likely they're going to work on these original best versions of these characters. Which is spectacular. That's just, that's just amazing. Like, Kay's already a freaking damn good character. This guy's already a freaking insane character with all the extra burn. You know, the gaining super armor from his core passive. Having super armor. I mean, he doesn't have immunity, but I mean, he's already devastating the way he is. And Kula, I mean, even though... Chill damage doesn't have a lot of relevance in the game right now, except for uh, Spider Robot, you need some chill damage. And, you know, Immortal Typhon, that's really where the chill damage comes in handy. But, yeah, man, and that's another thing, you know, speaking of Spider Robot, you know, a game mode that most of us can't stand, like yours truly, I hate that freaking game mode. Uh, you know, I beat it once, hit 400 million in at one time, and I've never played it since because I absolutely hate it. I don't think the rewards are worth the effort that you have to put into this game mode. But, Kula could be insane for this. You know, we don't know what kind of typing they're going to be. We don't know what color they're going to be. So, it's hard telling. But, man, I'm stoked. I'm excited, man. That trailer got me hyped up. That was an amazing look at K, whoops, and Kula. You know, never hurts to look at Neo Tingo, But, that is amazing, my friends. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for both these characters. I think those character models look absolutely amazing and god knows how strong they're going to be uh probably going to break the meta you know k is probably going to end up being a new uh gill raid hard mode uh killer he's probably going to be a new meta more than likely we'll see about kula but i have no doubt that both these characters are going to be absolutely insane man it's so freaking excited you know what i want to pull up that thing again you know let me, let me turn the sound off again i gotta turn the sound off. we gotta watch that one more time guys we gotta watch that one more time because that was freaking sick. All right, that was freaking sick. Back that up. Go while we'll watch it one more time. Look at her. Wow, I love that skill. <laughs> Man. Oh, that is so cool! It's so sick, man! It's so sick! God almighty, that 3PG looks freaking insane! It all looks insane. Oh my god, both these characters look so freaking great. And you know they're gonna be. You know they're gonna be. You know they're gonna be freaking insane. They're SS versions, man. I cannot wait to see the kind of difference those 3PGs are gonna make for... Kula and K, the original versions in the game, well, 
the all-star version of Kula here and the best version of Cave. But I am super, super excited about this, man. Wow. But again, like I said in previous videos, I just hope that it's more than just characters. I really hope we get some really good new content. Really have some high hopes for episode two. The hype is real, my friends. So excited for all of this. So let me know how you're all feeling about that trailer. I personally, I thought that was absolutely amazing. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus seven time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.